very important for a tennis player, for that matter, all athletes have a very strong mental game because in tennis it's unique. There's actually very little tennis played in tennis. A match that takes approximately two hours in time has really only a small portion of that, about 20 to 30 percent of it is where you're hitting the ball. The other majority of the time is spent between points and that's where the mind plays a critical role in the success of the player. What a player thinks about, how they perceive the situation, how they are able to stay in the present, all of those factors determine their success. The best approach to developing mental toughness is first to get players to understand the value of it. Once they do understand the value of it and commit to it, then a player has to be wholeheartedly engaged in developing rituals, patterns that they stick to during their best times, during their worst times. Rituals are the key to being able to stay strong during the most difficult uh, moments that players encounter in that. I have read Roth. It's a great book, and it's, uh, it's a testimony to the fact that rituals can help transform a player into becoming a warrior. Roth is a very shy individual. He uh, is very introverted, but he has a specific set of rituals that he has prior to matches and during matches that, in essence, armor him with the mindset that he needs to become a competitive warrior.